Alright, uh, last where we left off, you guys just breached the first bulkhead, uh, busting in. You guys are making a decision where to go. I believe you guys are going to be heading to where the reactor room? Yes. Yep. And the door was sealed on you guys. Another blaster door. Right. Does it seem the same as the previous doors, or is it thicker? No, it's the same as the other doors. All right, same plan then to get it open. Yeah. On those doors, you guys kind of see that's looks oozy, slimy. More corrupt than the others. If it's more oozy, then I, I fear my grip would not be as firm as with the other doors. You also have those three bolter guns on that fortifications, just so you guys know. Isn't two bolter guns and one void horror rifle? Or is no, it just no. Three this bolts? one was three was bolts. Okay. Three bolter. You took through uh, all their strongest defenses. Got it. Uh, yeah, I didn't particularly remember that. Sorry about that. Uh, How dare you? <laughs> and Speaking you guys are of remembering, also... uh, it... sorry, uh, uh, how long does the weapon blessing last for, Moff? Because you blessed my weapon last oh, session. Oh, that's probably run out to the new session. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Right now. Um, Yelmug's amulet is cracking. You wish to try to focus on it to put up the shield to protect you from getting warped on, or are you guys going to... Oh, hell no. It? I don't want this thing exploding on me. <laughs> okay. This thing is now a nuclear bomb that I hold in my hands. At least that's what it will be used for now. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Are you able to fix, uh, focus it f from afar? He doesn't yes. want to chance it. Yeah, I will. But right now, I don't want this thing doing anything. Else, it may explode on us right now. Um. And a Adrax tells you he wasn't able to go any deeper uh, than what he showed you, Moth, on the ship. Gotcha. So he does. He has no idea what lies beyond. Guess we better find out then. And I'm going to start doing the same thing I did last time and hole punching a way for somebody to knock the door down with the melt pistol I have. Careful, brother. This door might be stronger than the last one's. So you you blow holes through the door, and someone's gonna punch it down. I'm yep. gonna try and open it up. It's like the I presume uh, the the sister punches like two holes, and I try to put my fist. Oh no! My arms like through them. door frame amount of hole punch. Yeah. He's... Oh, you I'm mean like that? I'm like serrating yeah, the thing uh, to make it easier to knock the door down. Go ahead, punch it if you want. Do a strength check. You got it. Plus 20 for him doing that. Oh. You, I kicked the you, shit out of that door. <laughs> that door busts wide open. The door uh, has a marine sized opening now. I go forward first <clears throat> and wait for the rest of my kill team. Oh, yeah. So you guys observing it for traps along the way, or...? I'm not looking for traps, because I didn't uh, consider I that. I will be. I also would be, because I'm assessing what's on the other side. Mm -hmm. Any uh, value modifier on this? Uh, minus 20. <clears throat> nope, you don't see anything of interest. It's clear. Are you going to clear. are you going to tell me to try and look for traps? If you want. Okay. 
And and Brasora, as you as you go through the door in Karnoth, you guys notice it's eerily dark and quiet. From previously, we guys just encountered how loud it was. Say minus twenty, Boko. Do, we, yeah. Do we hear any like machine whirring? Maybe like the the ships systems working or something? Or is it it's like a complete silence? Complete silence. It's As. Really as it becomes eerily silence, I also try to do awareness. Minus 20, right? Yep. Damn. Oh, no. I don't know <laughs> how dark it, other than how dark it is. God, we're blind as bats right now. Mm-hmm. Well, time to go forward, then. <laughs> uh, since I no longer have to concentrate on the fancy pants super shield, uh, I would like to uh, throw up the probability shield. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to do it fettered. But. I'm gonna do it with my staff. Oh damn. Hmm? Cool. Uh, Space Marines have a natural plus twenty to perception checks, don't they? Yeah, we do. Well, also with a helmet we can just kinda of see them in, in normal darkness. Yeah, yeah but I've also mind. got heightened senses and hearing, so I should have had a plus twenty. Oh. oh well, whatever. <laughs> nice. Gotta uh, remember bonuses, guys. Oh, that's this? technically you succeed. What are those? Technically you succeed then, because... Yeah, I don't... How about this? I'll fake point re-roll my observation check up with that. Oh, shit. Here we go. Boko, is there a statute of limitations on uh, previous rolls? <laughs> Uh, no, you're just wasting time every time you do it. You're oh. spending about 20, 30 seconds every time you're doing awareness checks. Got it. So your awareness shield is up there, Eric, ladies? Or you're not wearing it. Probability yeah, shield. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, the possibility shield is up. Uh, and myself and... Oh, God. Who else? Well, you, gonna... you guys would have that, that capability to do that, too. Do you want them to do it? Uh, oh my god, oh no. Sure, uh, they're all sustaining it on themselves. Uh, because they're not as awesome as I am. Nope. Uh, myself and a number of allies oh. go to my PR and range, so that means... Everyone uh, but one, because one guy is nerfed. We should probably mark the nerf guy. Yeah, uh, he's, he's the purple. purple one. Yeah, he's the purple one. Okay. Um... I will give it to the sister, uh, the dude. <laughs> um, well, I'm sorry, the other captain, <laughs> uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I mean, I, I, get, I have enough to throw it on uh, the crazy guy that likes running forward. Oh, so, far enough. Yeah, so I'll throw it up on him too, just in case he manages to stay with the group long enough to benefit from it. What um, is the range again? 15? Uh, it's 20 meters. Yeah, I'm already outside your range. <laughs> already outside. <laughs> Whoops. Well, in that, case, in that case, I'll just throw it on the purple guy. That way he's not left out. <laughs> now remember, that means everyone gets a free reroll. I think God. that's everyone no, no, no. gets a plus it's a, 10. It's to a free roll. it's a free plus 10 to something. It's a free plus 10 to any roll any one roll they make during their turn. Yes, any roll. Nice. When you said that you reminded me of purple guy from FNAF. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I was also kind of uh amazed because can your subordinates also cast the probability shield? Or only can you do that? Uh, I mean, Thomas just said that they also have the power, but just to keep it simple, they put it on themselves. Okay. 
Because, okay, all right, never mind. Right. Yeah, yeah, just, just to keep it simple. Either that or like one guy will do it, and they'll do it on everybody else. There are all the mm -hmm. other librarians, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, this new door tool does not work. That's so stupid. You're just not doing it hard enough. I guess. I think uh, you can make a uh, a shape, like a like a trail. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm see him messing with something over there. Yeah, Maybe it's a don't circle. Worry about, don't worry about it. Don't, yeah, I'm not don't. worried. It's a new tool and it doesn't work. I'm annoyed. <clears throat> Probably buggy. Say I haven't tested it or whatever. Yeah. Something. I have to click on each one to get rid of them. Let me see. They even do anything with them. Oh shoot. Just like that's the door. <laughs> Can you not make it bigger? No. I don't want me to do anything with it. I click on it. It's probably a one meter large door, which would be appropriate for its size. So you know, normal sized maps, it would uh, probably be just fine. You're right. You're right. This is kind of like a not a normal sized map. You are correct. Uh, so as you come to this bulkhead, it's another door. Actually, let's see if we can do. Let me go to the other layer. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That works. It's a little better. Damn it, I'm sorry guys. I'm getting pinged at the moment. Well, I definitely need to update your fireballs then. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see this door is kind of like, uh, <clears throat> has more ooze on it. Looks like there's cracks and blaster bolts, or not blaster bolts. Uh, bolter rounds that impacted this door. From, From the inside? inside. Hmm? No, oh where, where you guys are standing. Oh my. Somebody else tried to break it. Possible. Or maybe something else tried to break out. <laughs> I mean, bolter rounds. There were both rounds in the outside of the door. Oh. <clears throat> yes. Yes, it definitely could not possibly be the sheer number of bolt rounds fired by our captain. <laughs> well, no, the other door behind was shut. Yeah, we've another crossed question. through a oh, bolt head right. into a room we haven't to yet. Well, time to kick down. Is this, this, is this a sign that we're getting closer and closer to the void entity probably if the if the tentaculous things are getting more and more dense oh boy this is probably where the infection spread or originated from hence the crew shot at the door before they became infected themselves let's kick right. it down and move forward right do you want to investigate the your at all your suspicions no <laughs> okay, I presume you already blasted the whole. The, yep. Hole the punch wall. the door. Get ready to knock down. Punch. Falcom punch. And awareness to see any trims. Remember, we have a plus twenty bonus. Yay! Oh yeah, true. 
plus that plus it's ten plus. if you wanted to use it. Plus whatever. Right. Minus it should be plus ten total if it's minus to twenty. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. Ninety-seven. Oh Can no. Oh. 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 That could have been. Oh, I got glowing slag in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't put the plasma pistol near your eyes. Shouldn't put the melty gun near your eye. Or are those inferno pistols? They are inferno pistols. Yeah. <laughs> Don't put Which barrel pretty much on inferno. face. It just reminded me of all the people who, like, have been metallurgists their whole life, so they have, like, spall embedded underneath their skin, so, like, they set off airport metal detectors. Oh, my. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, That's a real north, thing. Yep. North and south door seems to be locked. That's sus. Uh, I mean... Eh? It was in the last section, too. Was it? Yep. Hmm. Yes. We just okay. need to keep going forward for the reactor room. We don't need to go there. Great. But uh, there could be something behind those walls. So you guys listening for anything as you're going through? Well, well we, did, we did our we did our yeah, we did a bunch uh, of we did oh, our did? awareness. Uh, so Domingus, you kind of hear rustling <clears throat> on the other side of this door. The what? You hear rustling, like foot movement. You hear whispers. I hear whispers and rustling. They, yeah. This could be a trap. Prepare, your, prepare yourselves. Man, if we're hearing that through a blast door, then they must be screaming on the other side and stomping their really feet. Must be yeah. doing that, yeah. <laughs> just saying, I'm just telling you what you hear. Or the door itself is whispering. Don't listen to the whispers of madness. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, rinse, repeat. Now, oh, when you say this door... Door. Which one do you mean? The one directly in front of us? Yes. Or the one, oh. Okay, so not the ones to our sides. That's correct. Okay. Are you checking those doors too for possible ambushes? No. Okay. I'm checking the what? south door. Alright. Uh, I suggest uh, our captain, Domenego, set uh, up a firing position in case something comes in. Oh yeah, yeah, weren't we gonna use the 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 bolter line as a firing position for retreat? We're not retreating we yet. No, I mean we were gonna set it up for our eventual retreat as we get out. Oh, did we? I don't remember. Pretty sure we were gonna leave the the uh, uh the Grey Knight who can't cast the medic. And the uh, the religious cell dude we got on the bolters to cover our uh, get the hell out of this but section. Yeah, what the gray knight? Our... The powerless one. The, the one whose flag is purple. The one who yeah. lost his abilities. He's not a. He's not a gray knight. We have no gray knights with us. No. Librarian. I thought you uh, were all gray knights. No, we're all librarians. Yeah, Neil Tyron. As you go to that door, you see that like some like it's a bunch of faces on the on the on the door. Uh, is it like skinned and placed oh. on the door? Oh, brothers, come Just... hither! It looks like there's heresy on this door. Then why would you try to show anyone the heresy? Uh, I agree. You should burn it and move forward. <laughs> yep, burn I... it. I don't have I... a flamer. <laughs> I do. I will burn you have it. Have a flash pistol. <laughs> yeah, you just hear. You kind of hear whispers in the. Face is sort of talking and screaming. The door opens. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you mess with theoretical objects. I burned the faces, Oops. brothers. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'd like to fire my plasma pistol into the darkness in front of me. No, no. Uh, no. I. I cast no. plasma a, pistol into the dark. This is a trap. If the door itself opened without us doing any interaction, that means the entity is trying to get us in that door. Yeah, if this... Agreed. If I'm remembering correctly, do you remember that uh, hangar bay I told you guys about that was absolutely mm. chock full of those dudes? This mm. is that hangar. Mm. Oh, got it. 
Yeah, we're not going there. Brisora, door. I already hole punched it. But I really do think we should get some people back on those heavy bolters before we go any further, just in case. Yeah, anyone checking the northern doors? Are you guys done exploring? I mean, let's go back. We're not that far away. We could just go back and mount people on them. Why not? Or, now hear me out. <laughs> we have sufficient firepower on our own persons to obliterate any peasant guardsman that comes our no, way. No, that, that's correct. But for any future possible encounters afterwards, then they might be pro like, prove useful to us. So maybe we should spend some time now and prepare ourselves. I think we already spent the time gathering supplies on the last barricade. He did, towards the end. Very well. Then I suggest the apothecary, my inept librarian, and the spy man the heavy bolters. Yes. And sabotage the rest of the sabotage the rest of the bolters if we can't hold them or carry them or man them. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's three bolters and three people that can man. Yeah, Adrax before he before he goes says I can give you a blessing to to help ward you off from these entities. <laughs> Already have that. No, I know, but he he, he has an he has another one. Well, that's true. You did do yours, so it'd be the same, wouldn't it? All right. Are we ready? I'm going to punch the wall in five. I'm ready. Four, three, two, one, go. I should have added plus 20 to that. So uh, that's technically succeeded. Yeah. All right. It's clear. Oh, uh, awareness. It's clear. Okay. Excellent. I'm also going to roll for awareness, I think. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. We know it's happening. Oh, my God. You know nothing, so you know nothing about to go forward. The Manega can add a plus 10, I think. Uh, he already did plus 20. Okay. Yeah. All right. If you mouse over the thing, you can see that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's always awareness that gets you. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, Neo Tyring. Yes, brother. Where's the reactor from here? So are you guys mm -hmm. all in the corridor? Okay. Uh -huh. I'm going to I'm gonna pull out my uh little pad thing and let me double check how to use it. It's been a while. Yada, and yada, uh, yada. you're looking at the door, and you just see kind of these tentacles come out of the ground and like harden the door. It looks like it's doing something. Meta podcast harden. It, it has tentacles. I should have looked at flamer. Okay. The me yeah, the mechanical. It's like it's made of the ship itself coming out, wrapping itself around the door. Don't like tentacles. <laughs> nope. It's the same thing as a spider. You see, it doesn't do much. Okay. Well, the nice thing about tentacles is they can't dodge being burned. Yes. Right. Yeah, the bad thing about these tentacles is they're metal, so they can't be burned. They can, with enough heat. With enough <laughs> heat. <laughs> <laughs> should, I I use the, should I use the horror rifle, or do you think this is and it should be... Or do you think this is ineffective? Again, let's, so let's see how the uh, the melted missiles work on the door. How about that? Okay. Rinse, repeat, hole punch the door. Falcon punch. You see, as you're blasting it, uh, as quickly as you're shooting it, it's replacing the tentacles it's coming out. Oh. Of your ship. You're Need doing damage. Yeah, you're dealing damage, but it's starting to harden that door. You're like, we are in trouble. Okay, now it's void horror time. Uh, what about what about what you call it? Yeah, melt a bomb. Hold on. Before we do that, uh, I would like to try something. I would like my librarian squad to walk up to the door and then, with all of us using our force weapons, beat the shit out of the door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it is a psychic entity, we should be able to use our force psychic powers against it, 
mm-hmm. arma the the force weapon special thing against it. All right. Uh, and hopefully that'll you know do a thing. If not, right. I have two melt bombs left. Fucking gang violence and work. Just, Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> you guys are walking up, and yeah. you guys are just beating the shit out of the tentacles in the door. Yeah. It I'm, be- I imagine I don't have to roll to hit it. No, you're be- your your guys are very effective at what they're doing. You guys are starting to make dents into the door itself. So go ahead and do uh, some strength checks. If you're trying to trying to punch on the door or just make way for them to blast it. Uh, well, I'm basically trying to like uh, suppress the uh, demon taint. You're uh, punching with my... the force... Yeah, the force weapons are are doing it. It's still growing back, but you're able to beat it down where it's not. You can outpace its growth. Good. Punching it. And you're leaving dents in the in the blaster door here. Did the door behind us close or something? You look at it, and there's tentacles that already hardened it. Oh, We're that hole here. you guys made—it's all hardened and sealed up. And you just you see what appears to be weapons forming in the door itself. Oh no, brothers! So the doors uh... have us surrounded. <laughs> Am I needing to make any kind of check against this door? You said strength, uh, right? Yeah, strength. If you're just gonna beat the, sh- you're gonna try to beat it in with your bare fist, fire, fire, uh, force well, weapons. But not my bare fist, my force weapons. Force weapons. That's what I mean. Yeah. Glorified sticks. Well, yes. So yeah, with the, the force <laughs> weapons uh, special ability, though, is that I can make a uh, willpower check uh, against it, uh, and basically do additional damage based on uh, the number of successes I have against it. Okay, do that. Cool. Three checks. Yep. Three checks. Uh, any any modifiers? Uh, minus ten. It's fighting against you. Okay, cool. Then I'll do it even because I get that plus ten on everything. Fuck. Oh no. Two more. Okay, <sighs> I'm gonna fate reroll a couple of these. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the second. There you go. Okay, cool. yeah. Although I forgot to add the plus ten on those two, so it was even more. Right. That that door just caves in on the punishment. Uh, but now I'm down to one fate point. I suggest we proceed quickly, brothers and sister. Uh, I follow the kill team with tactical spacing. Well, I am the kill team. Awareness check. It's all clear. Yes, let's go. I'm gonna do another awareness check. As well, yada yada. Look, we finally see. We see doors. I actually oh, forgot no. I have that scanner thing where I can do tech use as an awareness. Oh, well, right. tell us where the reactor is. Should be uh, either top right here. It's this way. It's it's this way. He already knew where it was. What's this way? You say this way, but. Pings. Do you not see the ping? No. no, no if we're, it's, if it's, we're focused on our people. We can't see a ping uh, if it's off. Well, I pulled out, but oh, there we go. Oh, if, okay, it's, right, if you do the ping like underneath the darkness of the stuff, I, I don't think it actually gets the uh, the full thing. But this way, uh, Under... at east. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's pinging on the reactor room. Is what he's doing. So these doors a little far out. These doors, you can tell, are very, very. Very as bulky as they like, should be. Like, right, the best way. Oh, oh, what? Oh, 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 no! It's the best one. You cut out, Boko. It was it was so hard, and it broke broke Boko's internet. <laughs> Boko's internet could not stand up to the door. <laughs> right. So no. Uh. So looking at these doors. You're unsure. Find these doors. The the door in front of you to the east. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a, a... Looking at it, it's different from the other doors. It's a lot more bulky. A lot more uh, armored. And possibly there's a force shield in this thing. You're not sure. You're a it's your turn. I shoot yeah, it with a melt of pistols to see what happens. Oh, it hits the door. You just kind of see like a blue shield 
kind of vibrate where you impacted it. Aha! It has a shield. All right. Let me see if just hitting it does like with, with my sword <clears throat> bypasses oh. the shield. Okay. Okay. okay, so you hit it with the, the sword. I need you to do agility check. Mm hmm. Modifiers? Uh. Zero. Nothing. Just natural. Oh! Nice. Did he fail, Did he fail or succeed? Nice. Oh, it's a critical success. success. As you're about to hit it, you realize that is an extremely bad idea and you. And you fade out of existence. <laughs> you, just, you, just die. you are no more now. Sorry. All right, guys. Let's see, see you at the next campaign. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you realize that as you swung your sword, you made contact, still realizing it was a bad idea, and then perished mm. knowing you done yeah. fucked up. No, no, it no. was a bad idea. <laughs> no, no. Boko, you, you caught off at the right moment. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Great. Oh, that's funny. No, no, no. His character realized it's it, it's an exceptionally bad idea to hit this this because he he remembers something that the, uh, uh, the tech marines talked about in the past about what these shields are, to protect sensitive areas. Uh, so he parried his way out of it skillfully and hit the ground. Hang on, hang on. If he remembers something that tech marines talked about, then maybe I can roll a tech use or a knowledge Ooh. or something to know that. So would that Remember, be yeah, like, I communicate you get a that plus 10 on this roll. Plus 20. Right. So... Plus 30 on this roll. Plus 30 on this roll. <laughs> All right, Boko, is this going to be a tech use or is this going to be like a forbidden lore Deptus Mechanicus? That would probably be that. Cause okay. Forbidden lore. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to do a lord check on the door. Oh my god. Six right. nine. You know, this specific Diggity. shield is a basically you'll be vaporized if you touch it. Oh. You do not want to touch anything. This is like to protect sensitive areas within a ship. Especially Brothers, reactor. Do not touch this shield. It'll vaporize us. Why didn't you tell us earlier? I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I had a sudden spark. I had a sudden Is spark there... of knowledge returned to me. How do we deal with that? Hmm. Uh, do we simply have to overload it? I don't know, but I mean, I hope, what I know is I hope with a, I hope with seven degrees of success, you know. Yeah, would I know how uh, to deal with that, Boko? Like... Is that just so, a melt a bomb so, or what? So, so, oh, you, so you know the reactor itself is powering this shield, so it's a catch-22. You have to shut down the reactor to shut down the shield. Chicken egg scenario. Okay. So uh, I'm relaying your this information. Would, right. Yeah, your character would know in the reactor room there are other alternate routes to there to get to there. Um, you just have to find them. Brothers, perhaps we should try and get around this door, and hope we don't Come run on. into another one. Can can we um, bring the shield down by shooting at it? Your character knows that's a dumb idea. Okay. <laughs> or not your character, but Tesrax's character. Your uh, character doesn't know. No, absolutely not. You should not shoot that. It will be counterproductive. And who knows stuff. what horrors yeah, await us? Yeah, you're seeing We're, we're literally going there anyway to hear what horrors are behind. Oh. Right. So, yeah. if we need alternate routes, are we going to look for vents? There's a side again? passage back there. Let's go. I'm going to go side <laughs> passage to our immediate left and our immediate right. Which one are we going to take? Right. Well, the we opened the door a little bit further back, open. but I don't know where that one leads. Uh, I'm gonna do a navigation check. We do with... know where the one further back leads. Actually, it leads to a hangar full of spider creatures and nowhere else. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a navigation check with my cartograph, which gives me plus ten. Mm -hmm. uh, any modifiers on that? Plus, plus an additional ten for my possibility shield that you just get once per turn. Okay. So, 
plus by the way plus 20 is there any additional modifiers Foco? no you right. do guys know that the door lets up behind you guys all right i Taking succeeded my navigation my check door. Silence. Mm -hmm. Boko, yeah, what I... happens? I'm telling you. Oh. Do you not hear? Do you not hear me? I thought no, we didn't hear. We, we didn't hear anything. We, we we were silent for like ten seconds. Right. No, I was. Anyways, uh, so your character knows that there is. He just knows. Uh, <laughs> he just knows. All right, all right. Is... Hang on, hang on. Boko, okay. Boko, I hate to say this, but you might actually want to swap to push to talk or something. Unless it's like... Your oh, this is the it's, it's, it's the internet. There's, there's it's a, a big connection storm. Issue. Mm -hmm. It's a big storm. So oh, okay. you do know there is definitely a air duct that you can get through. You're going to have to blow through some things. Uh... It's narrow like that other passage that uh, Moth found. So a spaceman can crawl through it. Ooh. And you, are, you could crawl through it, and you, you might have to, because there's some, th there's some uh, defense... <clears throat> there are some defensive structures in place in that air duct specifically. Okay, so... The last air duct that we went through, or we were going to go through we determined that we would have to, like, basically put a line onto our weapons and, like, drag them after us and we would be unarmed. So if there's defenses in the air duct, I don't think it's a good idea to go through. And I'm going to be telling this to the rest of the team as well. Well, that's the, you know that's the only way in. But it's the only way in, so it might be our only option. Uh, it is our only option. people behind us. <laughs> There's, there's two behind us. Two uh, Marines. Two Guardsmen. Incoming ambush. You see these guys are unarmed. Man, would I have to we say open that fire anyway. Psychic blast! <laughs> Alright. So they're, they're just... I'm not going to have you guys roll. They're just dead. You just kill these... Poor, okay, good. decrepit, decrepit guys. <laughs> Can we tell by the way uh, we Sorry. paint the hallway with their insides if they were heretics or not? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Okay. Let me go and read the blood signs of their entrails and foretell mm -hmm. what side no. of the warp they were actually on. No. The emperors <laughs> of chaos. I walk over and I smear their foot, my foot in the blood. Oh yeah, totally I mean, heretics. Don't worry about that. Uh, we can technically taste them and Sorry. see if they were heretics. All right, all right, all right. I would recommend we're wasting time. We're wasting heretics. time. We're wasting time. Let's go get the uh, air duct. Yes. Where is this air duct? Where is it, Poco? Be the south of you. Okay. South. Direct <sighs> south of me. So like through here. Okay. It's over oh, here, brothers. I indicate uh, where the duct is. All right, so then uh, we have two two options of going in. So either uh, our captain goes first because he has the void horror rifle, and if he drops down into the open field first, he can take out whatever the system there is. Or I can go first because I'm the tankiest, and I can take the punishment before the whatever that is on the other side. Well, you think you can um, take the punishment. Well, I can take it more than you can. What if it's six spiders all with void horror rifles? It's okay. I think I can't handle. <laughs> we'll just dodge them all. Uh, it might be a good idea if I go in for the firepower. So, as you guys are talking, discussing that ground beneath you is kind of starting to sink a bit. And you just hear sizzling on your guys' armor. Ah, uh, God. Oh, God damn it. 
I left my flip. Time to go. Oh, no. So do a, everyone do agility check. Minus 10. Or with a plus oh, 10. Oh. Yeah, it's at zero. Oh, you have the possibility shield? Yeah. Is this, like a, is this like a dodge check? It's mm -hmm. an agility you can, you, can do, you can dodge it, too. Okay. So oh, that's that even nice. Because that gives me a, a greater bonus if it's a dodge but check. The agility, but the agility thing is if you fail your dodge check. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, well, well, I'm still looking to dodge first, first and then agility. Neil Tyson? Oh, oh boy. I'm in trouble. Oh. So, 10 of 25. Uh, holy crap. And you're entangled. If you fail the agility roll, I'm spending myself a favor. Alright, so, uh, again, so we need to make both dodge and agility checks. There we go. You No, you can dodge the attack. Mm -hmm. The agility check is when you get hit by it, because it, it oh. hit all of you guys. It's, been, it's literally the ground beneath you guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay got it. Yep. I Fuck. So, pen 25, that just goes right through all my armor, so... I'm... Yes. What is that, one critical damage? Because it's going to nuke my wounds as well. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you're in pain. with that again. <laughs> Anyone who got hit by it is entangled. <laughs> okay, there we go. Jeez. Okay, you're, I spent a fate point for that one. <clears throat> I dodged out. I dodged out of the way. Okay, who, who failed? Mango the also got uh, agility its way out. Okay. Well, I failed my initial agility check, so I guess I I dodged the damage, but I'm entangled, I guess. Or is it, does you need to run the agility once you it, get damaged? Once you get damaged. Okay. If, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. If you dodged the attack, you dodged it. All right. But um, the agility check is after you get hit. And then you get mm -hmm. It's like the curse of the snare. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I dodged the attack. Anyone else dodged it? I dodged. Uh, I dodged, but two of my uh, librarians failed. So they take, they take the twenty-four damage. Yeah. I'm just trying to see which one it was. What about you, dude? Did you dodge it? I you I agility my way out. Okay. Um, so then which? Dodged. Then I dodged it. Okay. No, yeah. If you. Yeah, no. The agility you don't get entangled. You still, if you if you failed the dodge, you get hit by the damage still. Oh, I do. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the agility is to make sure you don't get entangled. So you're you're trying to not get entangled by the thing. So right, cool. So uh, what kind of damage is this? Because uh, both my uh, little dudes just take uh, one point in critical. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting that as well. I How does one... critical damage work? Yeah, Depends on the damage. damage. We need to know the type before its effects can be applied. I imagine it would be bludgeoning or acid or something. I think it would be like energy, I guess, if it more like... It's yes. a corrosive... Uh, I think it's treated as a toxin? Yeah, but like... Let me look at the book. Definitely choose through your guys' leg armor. Anyone who got hit by it. Oh yeah. And it got, so if it goes through, so that means I do get twenty-four damage, pure damage. Huh? No. I mean, uh, it's twenty-five pen, so like. Yeah. It's gonna That's deal damage to you. You what? That'll go through pretty much everybody's armor. 
Yep. The leg armor? Yeah. I'll go well, through my body armor. Yeah, same here. Because everything except my body is 22, my body is 26. So I'm only so, mitigating one point of damage from that. Your, all your characters know they cannot, they should get out of this hallway. I just don't know how okay, to calculate this damage. I don't know how to calculate this damage because if it's 24 damage, it's more than my total wounds. Uh, Which so means you go into, critical. you start taking critical damage. Yep. Just what? So whatever's left. That's how much critical damage you've taken. Like whatever the overflow of that damage is, is how many how much critical damage you've taken. And then we look at a chart. Uh, and uh, depending what damage type uh, is being applied to us, will determine what kind of actual damage we take. So what is the damage that we're taking, Boca? Well, there's only ex energy, explosive, uh, impact, and rending Just on the chart. Rending. Just do rending. Don't rending? It okay. The leg rending them. I can't even interact with the PDF anymore. It's just so, it's just too slow now. I can just, I can take a screenshot. So we're doing rending damage? Yeah, yeah. stupid. Just, just make okay. some sense. There's a the screenshot. Arm, body, head, legs. Oh no, my two guys take one level of fatigue. <laughs> so hang on. Yeah, no. They don't even track that, so they just... Okay, the amount of damage you took is the amount of damage on the left there that you gotta go match. Ah, okay. And just then the what? next time you take damage, you just add it onto your total, and then the new total will be the new result that you have to take. So if you take two more critical damage, it would be three if you already had one critical damage. Okay. Correct. Yes. So... And it's not accumulative. As far as the critical effect chart, it's just whatever the new one is, that's the new effect. Got it. Got you don't it. get you don't get everything below it. It's just whatever the new one is. Although that being said, if you lose a limb, that limb is gone. You don't magically get it back. Oh, hold on. So the... Yeah, true. Also, ten plus in any category, you're dead. So mm. target kneecap splits open. He must make a challenging agility test or fall prone. Is that what your your other two guys took? No, they only have one level of crit damage. So okay, yep. one level of fatigue. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hurts their knees. My knee jerk. My knee hurts. <laughs> ah, I my did crit, crit tam damage of three. The attack rips the length of flesh. From the lane Wait, causing uh, hang blood on, to hang gush on. from the wood. Takes one level of fatigue and I, suffers blood loss. I think we're on critical damage one, dude, because it's only one instance of the damage being applied to us. No, no, no. no, no, it's, no, no, it's, no, no. It's, it's the damage. It's the, the amount damage. of damage you took. Uh, minus your wounds or whatever? Yeah. Okay. So from my, my logic is I hit got 24 hits, points of damage. Uh -huh. My total of wounds is 21. 24 minus 21 is 3, so I got yep. 3 crit points. That's correct. Yes. That is correct. Don't, 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 don't drive in tornadoes or whatever. What? Alright. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Uh... Man, y'all just means... had tornadoes last week. Tell them to go away. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Uh, hold on. We have a true grit talent. Every space marine has a true grit, grit talent. So you can have the result of the critical damage chart rounding up. There you go. Oh, nice. Well, there you so go. I'll so put you, it you in a two, two instead of a one, so your kneecaps get split up. Mm -hmm. Or two instead of three. Well, now you can make an agility that. test to not fall so, prone. So that I, would be bad. so normally I would have taken two crit Here. damage because I was at twenty two wounds. So uh, I guess I yeah, just have one, one then. If it's yeah, you take one. Yeah. Which is just I mean, one honestly, I would save I would save your grit because the only other change between that is fallen prone, and you can just get back up. You don't want well, to fall prone. Well, hold on. There, yeah. Know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like an ass pool. So what is fatigue? I'm not seeing that anywhere in my character sheet. It's it's in know. movement. Well, 
Okay, it's in movement. Oh, well, there's the it. word for it, but there's no place to actually track it. In uh, that's stupid. I mean, yeah, don't worry about it then. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, there's this threshold and then current. Yeah, okay, fatigue, threshold, and current. So, yeah. Okay. Oh. So, it's the box underneath charge. All right. Okay. So, just so everybody's aware, even though that critical effects table is in the Death Watch book, it's also in the Dark Heresy book. Mm -hmm. So, if you're a space marine, you can't suffer blood loss like that. Which is very oh, strange. Okay. So they, they just copy pasted it over, that's why it's yeah. yes, the same. same. Space Marines have like auto cauterizing blood that'll just not well, uh, suffer blood loss. Question, was that a warp weapon quality? Was that technically a warp weapon? Yeah, but, uh, uh, you, you have yes. to you have to sit there and analyze what it hits you? No, no. no, because like if it's a warp weapon, then space marines do suffer from blood loss as normal. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, it, we do not. Uh, considering it's a warp entity, it might. Be oh wait, well, well, like no one got hit for a blood loss. Well, right? I mean, it. No, no. I got blood loss. Yeah, dude. I got blood loss. It, it oh. would be. It but would what's be your a warp weapon? A warp okay, weapon. so then it does affect the blood loss. Then. Uh, what's your yeah. what's your critical damage, dude? Three. Uh, and that is, that is after uh, having the damage. What do you mean? Uh, we space Marines space have Marines. the critical damage table results. Uh, yeah, we as Space Marines, we can have a critical damage. Round it up. Here's here's the question. Can you use that one time, or is it just constant? Constant. I'm so confused. Oh, wow. Basically, when you go to consult the table for what affects you, you have that result rounding up. And that's the actual result line that you take. So, yeah. if your critical damage is three, you're actually going to take half of that result, which is rounded up, which is going to be number two instead. So, if you were at critical damage four, you would have halved it to two. So, the next yeah. time you take damage, if you take, like, three more points of damage, right, to be at six okay. critical damage, you'll take half of that result to be at three. Okay, that... Just because we're space marines. Because we're space yeah. marines. We're super tough. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Sweet. Sweet. Cool. So... Go yeah, ahead, you need, to make a, you need to make an agility test, uh, then, to, or you will fall prone. Which That's I wouldn't the, recommend falling prone in whatever this is. Yeah. Oh, so shit. I, I only have one crit damage. Attack knocks mm -hmm. the limb backwards, painfully jerking it away from the body. Target takes one level of fatigue. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's mostly anybody that's on level two has to make that agility test or fall prone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe dude is on two. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Just this. So, I guess I'll start hovering in my jetpack as to not be <laughs> the floor, because fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> well, imagine uh, you're going to blow through that door to the south. Yes. I'll just immediately start opening fire on it with the melted pistols. Okay. Uh, is it is it like is it everywhere or is it like near that? Uh, are, you, are you guys moving through it just now? I see you guys moving. Well, uh, I like stepped back and I kind yes. of stayed in one place. I stepped back. If if we get the door open, yeah, I'll, I'll look through. I guess. Or so, I'll look through. Boko, you I'll look through the door. said that. I would be snared. I'm assuming dude and I are both snared. I am Ooh. not snared. I am not snared. You're not? So, yeah, if you're snared, you're taking that. Okay, well, I'm snared. Oh, uh, so is that the second hit, then, for and, him? Yeah. So you have to do a strength check, or... But a... So only the ones who are snared are taking this? Yes, that's what he said. Okay. Apparently he was also about to say you need to make a strength check to break free. Okay. Uh... Alright, just go through the vent now. This is... We're in a terrible spot. Alright. So... So, both my space... Or, uh, both my librarians broke free. 
Uh, I assume because they broke free, they then now don't take that damage. Local Everybody's storm serving. is blocks yeah. his way. He is the storm that is approaching. Okay. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Whoever's entangled oh. takes that damage. They can do the agility check to avoid it. They can't dodge, so they can do the agility check to break free. Oh, no, oh I thought it was a strength, strength check. check. Yeah, you said strength. Or, My strength, bad. strength or agility. Strength or agility. Oh, okay. Either one. Okay, so they broke free, but they're still taking the damage regardless? No. Okay. They avoid the ass whooping. Okay, Good. so I broke free. Okay. By the, the three skin of my out. nuts. Would that have killed you? <laughs> oh, yeah. That well, would have. Of course, that's going to kill us. That that's, would have yeah, annihilated me. Even with a half on the table, that's still 10 plus on the damage. I'm pretty chart. sure the first one would have just killed me dead. Yeah, because you're not a space marine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. All right. Did you open the the shaft, Wade, or is it? Uh, did you only he, shoot it? He he, he blew he, he blew his little thing. Someone's got to come up and punch it. All oh, right, oh, I'm back. I was out back this time. I melted the fucking thing down. Okay. Okay. Someone's still got to punch it. You see, it turned to Swiss cheese. Um, I jump and punch. It's like whoa, <laughs> just just regular jump and punch. Sure. Uh, uh, boom. 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 Hold up. As you guys are standing there. Let's see. Oh, man. I put a minus 20 on that, too. So, agility, agility check to dodge that. Yeah, but when you're rolling at 80. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you're really you're yeah. against an 80. I mean, come on. That's true, I suppose. Minus 20 only marginally affects that as a roll. Sure. So who's rolling? Anyone, everyone anyone that's good. not floating. Right. Cool, I'm good. Well, so we I'm have to do a dodge? I'm plus, technically mid-air. I'm, I'm technically yeah, mid-air right now. Yeah, plus 20 to your dodge. But yeah, since you guys are aware of it's there, plus 20 to your dodge. So anyone near the oh. vents or everyone? I'm doing a fake point to re-roll that. <laughs> oh, okay, so I still can't technically fail this. Cool. And agility to, to not get entangled. Okay. So do I'm I actually almost failed it, my god. There we go. Do me and Brisora also have to take the test? I you you would oh still god. be touching the ground. So But oh, Dan has a jetpack, right? I have a jetpack. Oh you do? Pack. Yeah, okay, so okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good then. You're good okay. then. Alright. Jetpack crew, let's go! I succeeded by only six points, and then one of my space marines succeeded just. Mm -hmm. The absolute bare minimum. Oh my Did anyone God. fail? Uh, no. Because I oh, did yeah. a fake point uh, reroll. Dude needs to roll, I think. Hold up. You said well, you're going to attack near the vent, not everybody. Now you're saying it's everybody, so now I'm very confused. No, 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 no. You, you guys are in a hallway. He's busting through a door. Yeah. He, you guys are not even at the vent yet. What are you? Why are you confused? Not at the vent. Okay. Okay. So yeah, okay. he's getting out of the I, vent. I thought I, I thought the south. I thought the south was was the vent. No, 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 no. That's that's okay. the out of out of the death pool here. Okay. I mean, if you want to stay, by all means, stay. No. <laughs> okay. I, I think I, I don't oh, think that's a good that's idea. Coaching. Okay, so you guys are running off out of this bullshit? Yep. yep. Anyone else get hit? I didn't I, get hit. I dodged. Immediate perception check. Or what not. Hey, this time everybody made their awareness roll. Oh yeah, Boko, would our leg armor be gone from that? Uh, let me do... It's just a bunch of bare legged space marines. <laughs> <laughs> you guys lost. You guys lost two points of armor on on your guys' uh, legs. Okay, oh, that's for... not terrible. Everyone or just the ones that got hit by it. Everyone who got hit by it. Everyone yeah. who even. Okay. Yeah, anyone who got hit. Uh, your 
other space marines don't. I mean, they need the same armor as you, so I guess it's fine. Where did you track your system? Yeah. All right. Medic. Right. So it's it's eerily quiet in here, because like everywhere else, you just hear kind of whispering and taunts coming from behind you guys. Is the goop following us? <laughs> Let's not wait and find out. Let's, fi <laughs> Let's not wait and find out. Let's find will, that corridor. That uh, I'll, I'll go first. That panel okay. we need and break it down. You look and yeah, murder you look, this poker. Yeah, you look back at back in that room though, and you get a glance to that. You just see like tentacles in the kind of like the floor is kind of like a liquidy. Nanite mass. I don't know. You you can't describe it. It looks like the floor is alive. Mm -hmm. All right. Where's the vent? Okay. So you guys are all looking for the vent. Go ahead. To yes. Navigation check. Uh, Tesseract. Okay. Navigation plus ten. Any modifiers to that? An additional yeah. plus ten because of my uh, possibility shield. Ah, right. And and you have your uh, thing of bob. Oh yeah, plus I know. 20. Plus twenty on top of that for plus forty, Boko. Yep. Okay. Boom. <laughs> I've rolled a seventy-nine, <laughs> and mm -hmm. still got it. Uh, you could have rolled a ninety-nine and still got it, my guy. Do you see mm -hmm. that? Yeah, we can. It's gonna be right there. Brothers, do you see that? It's going to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> what you see, though, you see a giant armor paneling, and it's just enough space for air to flow into it. Armor no, but again, Who goes first? It's, it's a giant panel that's just large enough for air to flow through. No, no, no. So, yeah. I don't know how to describe <laughs> it. So, so, there's like... <laughs> About maybe 10 millimeters from the wall and the plate itself. To you, it looks like just another panel. Tesseract points it out. That's a, that's an air vent, a specialized air vent. I rip it open. Can I try to rip it open? Oh, wait. Before you okay. touch it, I shoot it with the melted pistol, see what happens. I fuse uh, it closed. The middle <laughs> element, obviously. <laughs> you blast it and you just see it. Kind of like absorb that entire hit. Harry, stand back. I fire. I fire the horror. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you see it impact and make a small dent. Okay, brothers. I think now would be a good time to use some melta bomb. We still Sorry, have two left. Sorry, but Inferno pistol didn't make a dent. Okay. If a void horror rifle barely made a dent, a melt bomb is going to do nothing. Oh, yeah. Mine is one. The horror rifle reminding you guys is 1d10 plus I know. 50. I'm aware. With penetration of 30. Wait yep. a minute. With penetration of 30. Yeah. Yo, Mug, you said something about fusing this thing shut. What if it's the exhaust vent for the reactor? If we do that, it might overheat. Is no. it the exhaust vent for the reactor, is it or the is it just an air vent? <laughs> Your character knows it's air intake into that area. Ooh, you could sh you could probably like seal seal it up and prevent people from breathing in there, but that's all you would do. Oh no. Yeah. Let's choke them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Let's teach them living. for three months. Make sure yeah. they have no supplies to come in. They'll starve to death eventually. <laughs> Death by carbon monoxide poisoning. If, if I can't making... possibly have any other air vents leading into that reactor room, no. While, <laughs> while we're having a conversation, I just keep shooting at the vent. <laughs> it's making yeah, a dent, so let's make a bigger yeah. dent. You see, like, soda can size dents as you're hitting it. <laughs> this time, tech ring, is there a button? Um, let me look for a button. <laughs> Heck use. I was just making sure there wasn't a void shield on it so we didn't, you know, get incinerated on touching it. Alright, modifier on tech use. I know I've got the plus 10 from the thing. Boko? Boko! The storm, dun, dun, dun. Dun. the storm is in the way. 
Uh, yeah, my Starlink's good, but it ain't good at this storm. It's like, the storm it's bolter. Like <laughs> oh, are you doing a tech use? Yeah. Okay. It's, he was wanting just... to know what modifiers. Oh, uh, plus 20. Okay. Good. What's your oh, combo? Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope you found Four. whatever buttons are here. So there's no buttons per se on this side. Uh, you think you can uh, get this thing to, to pop off, though. It's going to take some time. Brothers, there are, no, there are no manual override triggers on this side, but I believe with enough time and effort, we can remove this armored paneling. <sighs> How much time? Right. Mm. And, right and, you, and you can tell, dude, that it's un it'd be unwise to keep blasting this thing because it might break it and you won't be able to get in. Brother, wow. I don't believe shooting at it is going to accomplish anything. In fact... No, no, wait, no. Boko just said that I'm now aware not to do it. No, no, no. Tesseract is aware. You're oh. Yeah. oh okay. You said dude. Yeah. Oh, what? You did say dude. I He's assumed he was. I assumed he meant me. <laughs> I'm gonna. Anyway, message gets across. Don't shoot it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I really want to shoot it one more time. <laughs> I'm gonna stand guard. Make sure no fuckers come here. So go ahead, give me uh, three tech uses there, uh, Neil Tyson. Are you going to fire? Yeah, because this is going to take. He tells you it's going to take about roughly half an hour. Oh, get this really? Open. All, All right, right we need around. to relay. We need to relay to the. Well, officer. dude has the tech cues, and I can aid with my strength if need be. All right. So you want so, three tech use rolls? What's the modifier on those? Are you going to spend the thirty minutes to pop that open? I I don't. Is there any other is there choice. another choice? Not really. I mean, if we it, aid Tesseract, can we reduce the time taken? What about degrees of success? Can the degrees of success shorten the they, time? They can alter it, yes. Alright, I'm just going to roll with no modifiers. Is that cool with everyone? Well, you, you get a plus 10 because of my possibility show. Right, and okay. another, and a, and a minus, minus uh, 20. Okay, so minus uh, 10, minus 10, 10 total. Plus, plus 10 if a dude helps you. Uh, so it's and, straight rolls. And if so that one is a pass. If you permit it, I would also be just if if my brute strength would suffice as helping, that would be also no. another plus ten. No, okay, never mind. Maybe maybe to like move the armor paneling because it's pretty yes. big. If you wanted to move it, like after he, because he's trying to finagle this technology to release this paneling, and let you guys in. So as you guys are doing that, you guys hear laughter. <laughs> Try your best. Right. And let me see. A little drawy thing. So that first one is a success, by the way, because it'll be plus 10. So it'll be point two success. Or not we, plus 10. Fucking, wait a minute. Yeah. No, these are... Yeah, it, it'll be a straight roll, so eighty-seven. you got a 79 and 87 is your score, so it would be a success. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So, yeah. the uh, librarian, one of your librarians, points out to you the uh, the <laughs> the ooze is approaching. Basically, he says that <laughs> the ooze from that room is slowly moving this way. The goop is gooping. Right. Okay, I guess we so thirty shooting, minutes to hold it off. Uh, well, no, that was that was the first ten minutes. Oh. Of him doing okay. three. Which is the three? Which is oh, the yeah, three 30. rolls? Oh, okay. Oh, 30 minutes? You okay. said 30 minutes. Yeah, that's what yes. you said, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's... You said make three rolls. Yeah. Well, I guess while so he's doing that, gonna... we're shooting the goo to try and keep it back. Yep, go ahead. Because it's going to be all in top of here. Oh, cool. Ah. Uh... In 30 minutes, that's what the room's going to look like. Oh, okay. Well, let's just shoot it. While while everyone else is just gonna be shooting it, while we're trying to pry it open. No. I'll psychic blast it to see if that does anything. So I think that might work better than just shooting it. 
Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, do your damage. And I'll tell you if it does anything to it. At least has a lot of health. There you go. Seven damage. It has 16 armor, so. <laughs> coming in. Well, that's cool. Because that was for the first 10 minutes. Okay. For the next 10 minutes. Hold up. Well, I have an what, idea. what about your other librarians? I have an idea. What's your idea? I'm doing this with the librarians. Oh, jeez. To, to basically, the normal, yeah, I rolled a point one. Although technically, uh, I should have rolled an extra die because I forget to add my plus 10 to that roll. So it's nine damage. <laughs> nine nine damage. But that's still nothing. Yeah. Nine, nine, Wait, so nine, for the nine, next nine. 10 minutes. Wait, for the stop. next 10 minutes. Hold on, wait. You, oh, you're what are we all that? That's a flat 10. H -h hang on, hang on. Moth said he had an idea. Let's hear him out. Yeah, I use Repel Demon. Oh, okay. Which repels warp entities as well as demons. Alright. The power of the Emperor compels you. Do you have any checks for that? Uh. Yes. Let's see, um. Well, in effect, any creature of the warp, such as a demon, must win an opposed willpower test to approach closer than three times willpower bonus in meters. Okay, so you can do this for each three stages then. So, a willpower test, so I'm going to give you do three. Opposed willpower test, even, so I have to roll higher than you. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have much willpower. <laughs> I, think you, I think you hold it at bay there. So you can sit there and hold that bay at the 10 minute mark here, over here. So that's what you're gonna do? Uh, yeah. I I don't have vision on my character for whatever reason. Oh. Because it's dark. Dreamly no, dark. I mean, I have absolutely no vision at all. I know, I know. No, no, okay. he means, he means he doesn't see anything here and he should be. I don't, yeah, so but Broco says... I don't have here. a cone of being able to see. So there's night vision, right? Right. You see your character now? Yeah, no, I, I can see my character. I just don't have the cone of being able to see vision. Yeah, like for example, uh, like everybody has Dude those has, or Tesseract has, yeah. Interesting, that's weird. Shit. Yeah, mine got removed for whatever reason. I only just took off your night vision. I guess that's what that vision does. Uh, nobody gave it back, and he still couldn't see. Uh, let's see. I mean, night vision now, I have this entire room visible, which I probably shouldn't. Right, so no night vision. Yeah. Do you have any lights on you? Uh, the helmet's probably got lights. Okay. Oh, is it a flashlight thing we're supposed to be able to have for that cone? Yeah, there you go. How about that? That'll work. Yeah. There's your flashlight. Don't step in it. I hope you <laughs> Again, yeah, yeah. Really they... see. Where's 15 meters? So, yeah, I could pretty much just walk through and keep it from getting through the door. Well, you, you'd be unaware it's coming through the door until this 10-minute mark. So, you you had no knowledge of it oozing into here. Gotcha. So, you're holding it bay here. So, at least you could defeat it with that. <laughs> it has no willpower well, whatsoever. So, it can't approach me within 15 meters. So, I'm assuming over that 10 minutes, I could, you know sort of walk around back and forth and back it further into the door and just it doesn't move any it further. In. It doesn't move any further than this. Okay. So who's going first through the this huge door? Or oh, so we panel? remove the panel. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I said it would take 30 minutes. You guys spent 30 minutes fighting this thing. You hear laughter. You hear... Uh, about the 20 minute mark, you hear pounding. Pound. 
pow, like something colossus coming down the hallway. Something terrifying. Brothers, I think it's best we go through the vent as quickly as possible. Right. It's coming I climb through this. first. Ooh. Okay, you go first. All right. Uh, and your character does know there are defensive uh, shieldings and uh, weapon systems and traps. There's about two or three of those between here and the other side. So I'm going to roll awareness. Right. Also, how big is this vent? Is it just as tight as the other ones, or is it like... Yep. So you're, okay. you're crawling through, and you're at the first obstacle. And you know this is a shielding similar to the other one you saw, but it's not as uh, protected as the other one. You know you can probably bypass this one. All right. So... Making awareness checks, right? For traps. Well, yeah. You well, you came to the first one, but yeah, awareness checks so you don't stumble into it because it's, it's, the shield's technically invisible. So Modifier. Uh, plus twenty since you know it's this. Since okay. you know of it. Uh oh my yeah. god! I rolled a ninety-nine. You fucking shitting me? Just, just roll it again. Just yeah. do another. I'll do a fade point. Okay, I'm about to say, yeah, you walk into it. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if I poke it? Oh, my finger! Alright, so be an additional plus 10. There we go. Okay, so as you're coming through using your sensors, your your all your tech problems, you come to the first obstacle. That, that shielding, similar to that one in the door, but you know it's not as strong, and you can bypass this. So am I going to hack it or some shit? With tech use? Yeah, you use tech use to bypass it. Alright. Just shut it down. Modifier? Uh, it's gonna be minus 30. Ooh, okay. It's gonna be minus 30. I imagine other people are crawling through the vent behind you now. Okay, it takes you a little while. You finagle it, and you see it go shut down. Who goes second? Should it be dude, or should it be me? Or should it be someone else? I'd say melee, then dude, then we get the everyone and you, else. Psychers. And you know, and yeah, yeah you know, the next Thank trap you. is going to be like, like a melt a bomb. You, you don't want this thing to go off. Oh, like a boot trap. It'll be fine. Just take it to the face. <laughs> yeah. Can I try and? <laughs> On second thought, I'll just wait until the deck marine bypasses all the traps first. <laughs> Can I try and disarm it with tech use? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So are you going to do awareness? Because you know it's there past this this one. You just don't know where. So because to you, it looks like a, a an air duct. So awareness you know first and then tech use? Oh, yeah. All right. And this one's going to be minus uh, 30 for awareness to find this thing. All right. So it's minus 20 total. Because it's like a small oh, no. little diode laser trip wire. Uh, How far into the air duct is uh, Neil Tyson? He's about halfway. I uh, am it, going to fate point this again. I'm at zero fate points now, but I think it's okay. worth it. All right. So mine is ten total now. Oh my god. I can lend you one of mine. Oh, did you add the plus ten for fate point? Yes, okay. I did. Oh no. Did you add you the did. plus? Uh, uh, did you did oh, you, you add did plus 10, ten from okay. the possibility shield? I'm nowhere near him. Yeah, he's now. not near him. Oh. Well, then oh, I yeah, mega but... failed. Mega super failed, then. Don't you have, like, a mind impulse unit? Which helps you in tech rolls? That's only if you can, like, mind link with it. It's gonna have Bluetooth enabled. <laughs> True. Uh... Alright, yeah, then just have my fake reroll it. Can I reroll a failed roll again yes. with yeah, another yes. fate yeah. point? Okay. Yeah, he keeps rolling fate points. Fate points. He okay. Do it. We, uh, this whole campaign. Just want to make sure that's a uh, fair game. Alright. Oh my mm. god. It's a very hard, difficult thing to find. Yeah. It is like all... Why is your base roll 35? Because of where it's probably never level intelligence or awareness. It's untrained. It says untrained is it's perception. No, I'm trained in awareness. 
no, no, no. No, 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 no. What's your perception? My perception's 35, because I haven't been leveling yeah, it up like I should be. No, 35 is really low for a base score. That explains it. Yeah. Well, well I can get... you might just be eating this. Oh, God. It's a melt -a bomb Yeah, I mean, that if would... Boko, if Boko lets me, we still have three extra fate points on the medic. Yeah. Alright, roll again. Medic uses a fate point for you. <laughs> Maybe I also want to just save these fate points for that dodge roll he's going to need to make. Yeah. Yep. Well, well, I don't know. He's not going to dodge a melt the bomb to the face. Oh, especially when I'm in a really tight vent like this. What's melt the bomb's damage again? 2d? What was it? 4d10? Or something? Yeah, that's really high penetration, I think, though. Alright, so I'm doing another awareness check? Yeah. You, well, no, I mean, you haven't even succeeded. You're just trying to succeed to find this thing. So you're trying to find the tripwire for this bomb this, to disable it. Right. So am okay. I rolling again? Did someone yes, spend a fate point? Oh, man. A yeah, metabomb bomb is, point, huh? is a 6d10 plus 7. Yeah, you oh, don't want to use that thing. <laughs> so, okay. 15 pin and 60 10 damage. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, plus seven. Some... Got it. Plus seven. Yeah. He knows it's somewhere in this vent. He doesn't know where. And he's looking for the small diode emitting a laser that will trip it to kill you all or whoever. And it would. And your Oops. character knows that if it goes off, you're done. You can't get to the vent. The vent would be sealed. Wait, so, can't you substitute uh, tech you can't you substitute awareness for tech use or something? Didn't you have that skill? That's correct. I no, mean he knows of it. That's tech he knows of it. He can It's not really an enemy, so it wouldn't show up on the scanner. Oh, it's not an enemy, okay, okay. Got it. Yeah. Also it's uh, the navigation uh check that can substitute for tech roll instead. Oh, okay, got it. So can I, like, tell the other space marines what I'm looking for and have them try it instead? Like, it's that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I said you could. It'd be minus 40 on their roll. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm trying to tag. Yeah. Awesome. So the, him, he'd, be, he'd be the minus 30, so. Uh, but a plus 10 for you telling him where to find it or what he's looking for. All right, so I'm going to relay much. this information to our squad leader, and I'm going to back out of the vent to allow someone else the opportunity to go in here. I have a perception of 43. Just so minus 30 for awareness? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. You, <laughs> find you find it? Yeah, you find it. I find yeah. it, and I say, here, it's right there, you dingus. <laughs> You're the mom of our squad. Uh, <laughs> and I just back out. Uh, are you going to disable it, or are you going to have uh, I'm him? Oh, you're asking dude. No, no, oh, I'm asking you guys. I can probably disable it. Yeah. I'm trying to attack, but I'm not trying to demolition. If you fail, though, it's going to go off. So. I recommend somebody trained in demolition. Yeah. I'm Neil trained Tyson. in demolition. It's yeah, you, you dingus, it's right there. Go disarm it. <laughs> All right, what's the modifier? See the, see the flashing red light? That's the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's it, the modifier? It, it, it's it's the yeah, the head of a pinpoint small. This little laser diode. Uh, it's gonna be minus minus thirty to disarm it. Oh God. Uh, it's standing no, way he back. I'll be back. I'll I'll also go just yeah. <laughs> no. All right, you want... you, I have a fate point to spend. Go uh, for it. Is he just right there at the very entrance? I thought y'all were like further in this. No, thing. we can't. We can't physically move our tokens beyond this point. Yeah. Okay, he... so y'all are actually in the vent and further down than the vent. Yeah, yeah he's yep. halfway. Okay. Halfway okay. Point. All right. I'm gonna re-roll that because dude said he's gonna spend a fate point. That's correct. We are just burning so many fate points on this. All right. Yeah. Uh, yada yada yada. Demolition. It's gonna be minus twenty this time. 
Oh my fucking god. Why'd you get it worse? Because <laughs> I rolled a, a literal 91. Alright, Medic burns a fate point on you. Reroll that shit. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Uh... Okay, there we go. Fucking hey, you finally. Delicately, you delicately disarmed this thing. Somehow. <laughs> you were able to, to remove the components for the explosion. And the bomb itself, too. Brothers, the Emperor smiles upon us today. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> it's like a half a smirk. He pities us. So, yeah. plus one uh, metabomb trap you got. It, whatever you want to do with it. Well, good. We can use that okay. to help blow up the ship. So, we're now up to three melted bombs again. Mm -hmm. So, and the last trap, you're aware it is. If, if it trips, you're going to get a face full of, like, heavy bolters. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I, I can take that. But he knows these ones are specifically designed for armored targets. You do not want to be hit by this thing. Brothers, eh, trust me, these are not regular heavy bolters. Can I shoot it? <laughs> it's in the vent. It's somewhere in the vent. If it's a, a straight vent, you know. Yeah, it's like a. It's 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 going to be a trap. This thing will, you'll see, one pop out and just blast down that hallway. So he has to disable the uh, mechanism that'll trip it. Won't fail this time. And then and then then you're in. So it's going to be a minus twenty to find it. Because it's it's not as secure as the meta bomb. Because you, you want someone else to find it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please, for the love of God. <laughs> I know where your yeah. next XP points are going, Goldblum. Um, who's the Miller? I keep forgetting names. Who's the Miller one? Dan? I'm Karnoff. That's me, Dan. Yeah. Karnoff. What's your perception? Uh, forty-three. And uh, yeah, right. look, you hear the uh, you sense right, the I go in. Talks to talk to you. This whole time. What's the awareness? Uh, it's minus 20. And Yelmug, your character senses that thing tries to talk to you guys. Wait, oh, wait. Yeah, if it's yeah. minus 20, don't, don't I get plus 0 or plus 20 yeah. as well, too? Then I found it. Okay, so you found it. You found the tripwire. Cool. You can point out to whoever you can try to disarm it. If you fail, it will shoot you in the face. It's it's a green light this time. God damn it! <laughs> um, uh. What's the? What if I disarm it? Is it just tech use? Yeah, it's gonna be minus thirty. You get one roll. Yeah, definitely what Cobra doing that one then. Yes. Yeah. What's your intelligence again? Um. 47 and tech use is like way up there so I get huge bonuses to tech use. All right, I'll, let you, I'll have, let you do it. Right. Because I got I, I have intelligence 64. I've trained in it. But I only have trained in tech use not plus 10, 10 or 20. Yeah I'm plus 20 and the only reason I'm plus 20 is because I actually forgot the reason I put myself up there but I know that like with the bonuses I, I think I think it's because you're a tech marine. You're supposed to do tech. Oh yeah, <laughs> I I deliberately uh, increase my tech use skill. That was it. Okay. Didn't you also increase your intelligence? No, I should though. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, you need to do perception oh. of intelligence. All right, all right, all right. Oh. We're you trying okay? to get into the. Never <laughs> mind. It's okay. No, just having meltdown. It's okay. All right. So it's gonna be a minus twenty. To tech use or what? Tech use. All right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, dude! How much did I fail that by? One point. <laughs> by literally one point. Literally one point. This is painful. This is extraordinarily painful. Alright. 
do we let the medic spend the last point? Or they still got two. So yeah, give you another one. Wait. I thought they fled and hid. What do you mean he's the okay. Alright. All right, all right. Well he's he's the yeah, right. You guys spent thirty minutes, right? So they're they also go. assuming this is a real Inquisitor Orthodormus talking to us. Possibly. Yeah. Uh so he's reporting back to you. He's the captain again, the Inquisitor speaker. Oh, yes, sir. <clears throat> the Eldar destroyed my escorts. My ship is the sole survivor. What's the plan? I was able to destroy all but the strongest of their vessels. There's one left, so there's been one vessel. So we're, we're, it was like one versus one? The, yeah. And that's what the dice rolled. They did pretty well in the battle. So, is this last vessel like. Bigger than a cruiser, or it's a cruiser. That's all you guys had. You had oh. what? Two cruisers and and so. four frigates. So four we frigates. have one cruiser. What's the uh, Eldor's? Are you asking what it, the, the ship designation is? Yeah, yeah. the Eldorks. Uh, Eldorks. <laughs> it's when the old ones got desperate and combined the orcs and the Eldar into one being. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> The, that the, way, the, they were oh they were more God. capable of fighting off the Necrons and actually won the war in Evans. <laughs> it's a crazy alternate reality. And then Krorks oh happened, God. and Eldar happened. Yeah, That's incredible. Uh, Dark Eldorks. Oh no. <laughs> Can only imagine what that looks like. Uh oh. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> I imagine you're now my couch. Poof, you're my couch. Ha ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> also, it's Eldar, not Eldor. Oh, that's Eldor now. It yeah. seems to be a fairly large vessel. Um, I'm unsure of its class. Um, my guess is it's it's their flagship of the fleet. We repelled the boarding parties. You know, once we get into the reactor, how are we going to get out? The same way we came in, or we destroy the void shield. And Running, the the door. very. Quickly. You know, we you can know? time. We can set up a melt a bomb on a, on a time delay or something to blow the reactor, and then we should have enough time to get out. Someone needs to defend the melt a bomb. Someone needs to because they can disarm it. Oh, see, quickly. this is why we should have uh, sealed the it, air vent to choke out have... everyone on the other side, and then we wouldn't need to defend it. <laughs> It's a good thing I have uh, six meat bags here ready to defend a melt bomb Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's your ETA right. on taking out this warp horror? Do you guys think 15, 20 minutes left will be good? Uh, considering it took you... took us half an hour to get through a couple of doors and then a vent. <laughs> well, well, it, took us, it took us half an hour just to deal with the vent, but now a vent is done with. It's coming well, back, which should yeah, be the doors. Oh, sure. We might be able to set a bomb in 15 minutes, but then getting off the ship's going to take another three hours. Uh, because yeah. the <laughs> doors are closing behind us, and they need time to be opened again. So that's also going to take some time. Brothers, perhaps this is a suicide mission. <laughs> At least, like, an hour plus of time is needed in my professional assault of marine opinion. <clears throat> Although, less to actually blow up the ship, because we don't have to be off the ship to blow it up. Yes. I see. I will aid you in battle then, and ram the warp into this ship. You have your 15 minutes. Oh. Yeah, I knew it. Well then, hop to it. We don't have much time. Crawl faster. <laughs> all the all the all the security vents, a uh, security system with the vents is disabled, correct? Uh yeah, because I succeeded my tech use roll. All right, well, let's go in the reactor. All the ones he knows of. Dun, dun, but, dun. We don't want this creature to take our vessel, so I will destroy ourselves to deal with the situation. So. He's gonna suicide ram into the vessel. 
then we have no escape for anything else. Then. Okay. No, we got the Thunderhawk in the in the bay. Oh yes. We can take the Thunderhawk out. Wait, unless it's been like fucking. It's not have a warp yeah. drive, does it? I hope you guys no. like spending the next hundred years in cryostasis as we fly to another planet. Hell oh, yeah. oh, Thunderhawks don't have cryo. I hope you guys like dying in a desiccated old star. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, enough of my life. Goliath, we might just be able to get out of Psychic. No, we're not Astro Pass. We're fucked. Please let me know if plans alter, if all isn't lost. Yes, sir. What I was mean, it for the Emperor? He the vessel. Like, we can still get out. We don't. He doesn't have to do it, I think. The Emperor protects. Do what you can and bring this thing down. I'd prefer not to be a martyr. All right. He would just prefer us to be the martyr. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. We are the kill team. For the Inquisitor. All right, we'll get in then. Plant the bomb. Me and the wait, sister wait. will hold out the psychic entities while you go and blow this thing up. We've already went through the hole. So Good, keep going, going through the hole. You already right. disabled it. Okay, so you disabled it. Okay, so we should all be in the reactor room by now. Hey, there you're it not... is. Well, oh, you guys at the... least. You're not in the reactor room. You're in the area the that room leads up before to the reactor room. Yeah. So you're in the you're in the like engineering area. The the reactor's a little bit deeper. Oh God, we've teleported. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. More infinity has got greater control of us than I thought. That's <laughs> this the infinity gate. Holy shit! Also, the sister was left behind. Her sacrifice will not be in vain. <laughs> well, I just gotta hold off this goo monster unless you guys want to crawl through a goo vent. <laughs> Are you gonna stay behind and hold the goo at bay then? I, yeah, I got to. We need a and second, per we need a second person with you. I was gonna kind of assume that my li uh, librarians are gonna need to be there for when that giant fuck off thing. Turns around the corner oh, to right, help defender. I forgot yeah. that thing existed. Yeah, the giant monster thing. Yeah. We need we need we need a second person with moth. What giant thing? I did not see any giant things. Yeah, there, there was, was giant. A, yeah, but we heard a roar out. thing and a clang of it walking. It's probably just an imperial knight. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I can smell that copium. <laughs> Smoking big copium. Man, that copium must be the worst kind of copium if an Imperial Knight is only the worst kind of copium. <laughs> <laughs> I think right. there's some better copium you could be smoking. Yeah. Alright. So, can you bypass this door? So I can try, me. brother. Step aside. Dude, throw my librarians back to the other side. Oh, they're going to stay on the other side? Yeah, because we're going to defend the sister while she's, you know, keeping the other stuff at bay. <laughs> modify and tech use to bypass the door. She's surrounded by a circle of men. Cool. All right. Uh, all right. That, all right. That'll work. I take it it's just a regular straight roll to try and bypass the door unless there's a modifier, Boko. Can you see what they can they see? Uh, I mean, I can't see what they see at the moment. Neither can I. Okay, give me a second. Hey, now I can see. There you go. Alright, what am I doing here? Okay, everybody around us now has the possibility shield again. Sweet. Oh, actually, I just realized if you hold your token and then right click, it shows you the direction to your new token. What? what? Interesting. If you left click your token, select it, and like drag it, and at the same time you press right click, it, it, it makes an arrow to your new position with that Oh, token. so you can see the distance you're moving. That is so convenient. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, you mean this? So, Moth, as you're doing this, you just see... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. <laughs> I wish I could see. Uh-oh. I fucked Bo something Boko? up. 
Oh my my God. field of vision is uh, this. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to see any more than that. <laughs> you, you just don't. It's been another, better. Another dose of copium. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just pray it's the Imperial Knight that you're hearing and not what I see. Right. Uh, okay, so, so what I'm trying to bypass the you door. Hear... Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what's the and, modifier uh, for the tech use? To, oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm fat fingering the fuck out of everything. I did refresh, getting the character sheet up, and the new window. Okay. So, <clears throat> Moth, your character here is a very booming voice. And it's saying, let's make a deal. Let's seal the deal, pal. What do you say? Alright, I think I opened the door, whatever. Or not open the door, but I'm trying to get around it. That's my role. So, Yelma, what is your what is your squad going to be doing? Uh, they're going to be uh, throwing uh, psychic bolts uh, everywhere they possibly can. Every every okay. enemy they see, they're just throwing down the fire. Right. I guess I'll shoot at it too. And. You get lights, Moth. The lights in the room uh -huh. come off. And you just see this giant thing. Blood guts and just piercing red eyes. Talking to you. Saying, let's make a deal. Found it. <laughs> and you just see these... Oh, no, not the but you just see these things appear out of the ground around it. Let's make a deal. Surely yep. nothing bad could ever come of that. So are you attacking right away there uh, as these things are popping up? Oh yeah, as soon as they start popping up, they're just going to start letting loose the psychic bolts on everything they see. They're going to stay within like that 15 meter radius because theoretically nothing should get past that. <laughs> So what are you targeting? Uh, but are otherwise basically just using their bodies as shields for the sister and throwing psychic bolts at everything they see to try and kill anything they can. Gotcha. So you're going to respond to this thing? Oh, uh, me? Yeah, and the rest of you guys hear it as well. Mm. It's talking, you hear a booming voice coming from the room behind you guys. We're near. Okay. It's probably fine. So you guys are going to continue pushing forward the other, this team, main team, okay? Right. Well, we need then... to get in there. We need to blow up this reactor. Okay, so you open that door. All right. Because these doors are not as heavily armored as the other doors. These are just basic doors. You guys can push buttons. Where's Where's the reactor room? To our right. To the right. Well, I see a bunch of mattresses in a room. Opening the door. On the other side, you hear kind of like, uh, you hear some noise behind the door. There's noise behind the door, but I can't discern what kind of noise it is. It's right. the dangerous kind. Open it anyway. <laughs> At once. Okay, as you open the door, you see more of that nonsense from that other room. Oh. God, it's an amorphous blue ooze. It's not the green ooze that tried attacking us in the hallway. Well, it's blue it's, this time. It, yeah, it's very similar. Very, very similar. So you just see this. So he's gonna shoot at it. You guys gonna do a push through? Uh, I'm gonna use uh, the the moth, the rending moth. Okay. Because it'll have a ready. I mean, I'm doing it unfettered, so it'll have a radius of five, uh, 25 meters. Uh, so basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be the entirety of it. Um, let's let's do this. So Moss character is fighting for his life, keeping that green news at bay. <laughs> Honestly, just me yes. standing here keeps it at bay. I can do no other things. Good. Okay. Well, technically, we'll get 
can also hit us, but let's not talk about that. How much damage are you dealing? 37. To the entire goo, blue goo puddle it, in front of us. Well, basically in a spot that's 25 meter radius, so all the goo and anything within 25 meters of a good chunk for all of it. So, uh, also, also, it's going to be done twice. Okay. First right now, and then at the end of, on, and on their turns, it'll happen again. As giant space shark jaws come up from the ground, bite everything, and try and drag it into oblivion. So the ooze dies. You just see all that stuff dissipate around it. And, and chomp, chomp. Yeah, all this die. How much? How big is the radius? Uh, 25 meters. Because I did it unfettered. Okay. Dead and dead. Also, is this the reactor room now? Yeah. Or is there another room we gotta go through? Another room we gotta go through. A cool. hallway. More hallways. You're you're There's just more ma people you're people making your way to the reactor room. So who else is making attacks for these things? We're we gonna roll initiative and fight. Oh, uh, do we have a surprise? I doubt uh, it. Fighting. No. He's letting us get an attack roll off before we roll initiative, though, so... Yes, yeah, so that's a fact. That's a surprise, yes. Yeah, so right, then um, three monsters, if, if you can kill it outright, so... So should I just do a hit on the... Mm -hmm. Hell, no. <laughs> Yeah. Hit, and then... Uh, I'm gonna use the Void Horror Rifle, so modifier. Uh, so it's half range, so it's gonna be plus 20. Oh, no. I think I'm gonna re-roll that. It's a good what choice. Yeah. Also, That's you nice. are under the effect of my possibility shield, so you can either use it for your attack or for uh, damage. If you want to use it for this. Is it plus ten? Ten. Plus ten. Plus ten. All right. I'll use it to. I'll use it to um, do the hit, not damage. Uh, okay. Are they? Uh, are oh. the enemies <laughs> big? Are they like hulking? These ones. Yeah, they're like your size. Yeah, they be whole. Oh my so god! So it's plus ten. Yeah. So oh, they're all they're all dead. You killed all of them. They only have forty five health, and you do, your your pen goes right through it. And you're using those rounds. Yeah, they just get eviscerated. Well, we're not using any particular rounds. It's just the void horror rounds. The yeah, yeah. Oh, ones. yeah, yeah. That goes right through. It's it. still pen thirty, which negates all of their armor. Yeah, and then and then all have... of the damage. Yeah, they only had thirty armor, I believe. Yeah, they're yeah. they're but fucked. There, there is a righteous fury there, though. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. Right. Down oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, three, four, four. I, I took out. Oh, uh, you took out three, I think. That's four. All right, so cool. righteous fury, kill, kill one more. Let's see. Is the reactor here, or is it in yeah. another room? Uh, it's to the south of us, so there's one. Uh, well, hopefully, just well, one more room. It's the east. These are hallways that lead to the reactor. Mm -hmm. the reactor room all the way to the east. God. All the way to the end of the map. I think, yeah. dude, it's just painting that entire hallway with the insides of whatever those things are. Uh, no, no, no. Which no. horror for doesn't get to roll the detents? That's okay. not a tearing weapon. I thought it was in a Stardust room. Pattern thing. No, no, it's a Void Weaponry. It's not... Oh, oh got okay. it. Got it. It's in a start. It's in a Stardust style. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like made for Space Marines, but it doesn't have the tearing right. special property. Okay, so I can't do Righteous right. Fury. Correct. Well, these guys are doing that, I'm going to no, try you, to... you can you can do Righteous Fury, you just can't re-roll the low rolls, right? Right. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna try and open this door, cause. So do you write the fury then? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Door he, he did one more dice. Oh. Okay. One more yeah, dice. I already used the uh, one dice. So it's it's fifty one additional damage. Mm -hmm. Door opens. Open Sesame. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get a surprise round against this guy? Yeah. Well, it is looking the other way, so probably. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, 
Uh, let's see, how far away is he? He's like, oh, he's, yeah, he's within half range, or, all, no, he's not within half. Uh, I'm gonna shoot my plasma pistol at him. Remember, you will be getting a plus 10 if you want to use it on the attack roll. And yeah, plus I'm 10 for that hulking. Roll. I'm going to do it on the attack roll, the two hit. Oh my fucking god. Well, it, it doesn't matter how many bonuses you added, you're not going to get 91. Yeah. Um, and... <laughs> oh my god. It's alright, oh, yeah, Kornoff needs to do something. <laughs> the yeah, uh, special, the special is overheat. And if I get 91 to 100, I take a critical hit from my own plasma pistol, which nice. I did. Yep. Nice. Woo. Oh, Build my damage. God. Oh, oh, Jesus. I think, I think he just killed himself. No, 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 because I still have some armor. Uh, well. Are you sure well. of that damage? I mean, that's what? Uh, at least 12, so... Maybe but that depends on how much armor he has. How much armor do you Wait, have? Wait, do you take a hit from your own weapon, or do you just take one energy critical? I'm pretty sure I just take a hit from my own weapon, and it counts as let's, a critical hit. Let's see, overheat. Yep. Has the gun, gun destroyed too? Probably, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll assume I, I don't Certain think so. Certain weapons are prone to overheating. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A weapon with quality overheats. When this happens, the wielder suffers energy damage equal to the weapon's damage with a penetration of zero to an armor location. Okay. Oh, and penetration zero. zero. That's so, I'm still taking critical damage from this. Yes, you are. You, The wielder may choose to avoid taking damage by dropping the weapon. <laughs> dropping a weapon well is a free in. action. Okay, I'm going to throw the fucking weapon away from me. Or okay, drop it. Grenade. Yep, hits the wall. Boom. Oh, you could have thrown it at the entity. Maybe. I mean, yes. the <laughs> over yeah. it. Oh, okay, check. I'll throw it at the enemy. Why not? Well, my plasma <laughs> pistol's fucked. God damn it. Why is this I can working? Just, uh, <laughs> I can imagine the grunt accidentally overcharging his covenant oh, pistol. Oh, my and fucking just God. It. Wait, don't we have three times the... You just strength. Missed. You just, just missed. Don't we have three times the strength? Yeah, we do. Of uh, yeah. the base. Yeah. Yeah, we do. You just miss. Should that be a hundred, hundred twenty-one? No, 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 no. It's 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 uh, like for like. You still have to throw damage. It. Okay. Or like that's like for cal calculating other stuff for All the. Right. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, Guys, a bonus thing, not a strength check. I hate to say this, but I have a family emergency, so. I have to leave oh. now. Um, oh boy. Okay. Yep. Safe, safe. I'm. Oh, what I'm gonna do safe. is, uh, Dan. I'm gonna cut the recording here, and I'm gonna ask that you pick up where I left off. All right. All righty. Yes. Yeah, sure. Let me do that. Thank right, you. Right. Appreciate it, gentlemen. Later. I'm gonna go grab some coffee real quick then.